Hello guys, welcome to today's video. I'm Trust Stanley and this is TS Tech Talks video. Today I want to show you how to create a story highlight and also to create or edit a current story and to add a cover to a story. So um, I'm going to first show you the difference between stories highlight uh, that has a cover and a story highlight without a cover. Now let's go ahead and open Instagram. So um, right on my profile icon, I'm going to click on my profile icon to show you guys how my profile look. Now this is my profile. I don't have any cover on my profile. Once you click at the image, it displays the particular image that I have um, on that highlights. This section is actually called your highlight section. When I click on any image, it just displays all of the image I have on my all of the image i have currently on my highlight i didn't add anything like cover to them so in this video i'm going to go ahead and add a cover and also add a highlight to my to my highlight so if i try to um show you let me show you guys what highlights actually means let me look for mkhz mkhz now um Looking at this profile right now, you can notice where it says BTS, right? That particular image actually has a cover. All of his highlights actually has a cover to them. So if I click on this camera icon right here, you can see it has different videos on them. And if I navigate, I see different images also. But if you notice where it says BTS right there, there is a camera icon right there. But that camera icon is actually not displaying on these pictures even when I scroll to the end. So it's actually what I'm trying to say. The same with the one that says wallpaper. When you click on the wallpaper, you just see different wallpaper, wallpaper being saved. They are all highlight pictures but they have a cover of a wallpaper they have a cover of an image icon which is definitely different from what the image is all about when you click on that image it's a different image entirely but it actually has a different cover entirely so that is what i'm going to show you guys how to make an iconic kind of cover and have a different image inside of it so um before we be able to do this, we need a graphic software to do this on our mobile device. And I already have that, but I want to show you guys the graphic software that I use. So go ahead and open your Android Play Store to download the application and tap this area to search. Go ahead and type Canva. I already made video about Canva. You can check out more of my videos on my channel. I can leave a link for you to learn more how to use it. So um, if you don't have it installed on your application, go ahead and install it. So I already have it installed on my device so i don't need to install it a second time all i need to do now is to open it so go ahead and open yours if you have it installed but if not take some time to install it and then follow along so once you have it installed it's going to um, give you different options it's actually a free free app and you can use the trial version which means the premium version the premium version actually gives you room to make use of other things but i don't want to use the premium version i just want to say no to this just say not now and then you can go ahead and create your whatever you want for free so all i need to do right now is to click on this plus icon right here and uh, you can notice it displays instagram as default there are more applications that you can do you can see it has whatsapp it has facebook it has twitter it has reddit it has pinterest it has a lot of things it has youtube also so you can create a lot of a lot of thumbnail or a lot of images or a lot of graphics with this instead of resizing them it automatically gives you the size that it required for that particular section so for this video guys we are going to be making use of instagram stories we are not making use of instagram posts because it's not a post it's actually going to be a story so we are going to make use of the posts actually but if you still use um post it still gives you the same feel but I want us to make use of this story because highlights are actually made up of stories so we are going to make use of stories now after you've selected the story go ahead and click on this check icon to mark it now you can notice they is displaying on default some images on my gallery but i don't need any of those images from my gallery i just need to make it blank so go ahead and select blank let's create from a blank image now once you finish loading if you have an image on your mobile phone that you want to make use of you can still make use of that all you need to do is download it offline and then continue so all you need to do now is to click on this plus icon once you click on the plus icon you can notice different options that displays so for this particular video all i want to do right now is to use um a gif which is 
called an illustration so click on this um illustration you can go ahead and select shapes if you want to it's going to give you different shapes so we can draw an eclipse right here so have it once you select the eclipse it's going to be centralized for you and you can also change the color of this eclipse by clicking and selecting edit clicking on colors when you click on colors you scroll down a little bit to choose the color that you want depending on which color you want you can just go for any color and then once you are okay with it just say done then scroll right back up and click on this plus icon again click on illustration for once more now if you click on illustration it's going to give you different illustration right here so you can choose on anyone but if you didn't see the one that you're looking for you are free to go ahead and search for that illustration so for this video i'm going to search for camera so um go ahead and search for anyone you want to you can feel free to explore and now guys before i choose any camera right here you can notice this um this crown icon right here if you see any crown icon that means that image is not free it means it's a paid image so you can go ahead and ignore that if you want to use a paid image they are going to add their copyright on it but i don't want to make use of a, a paid image i want to use a free image so i can either make use of this and click and drag it to centralize the image on our eclipse you can notice when i'm centralizing you you see this um icon that it's giving me the centralized edge it means it's in the center so if you're okay with it keep scrolling till you're okay i think i'm fine now but this eclipse i want to duplicate this eclipse and make it two so um all i need to do you can see this plus icon right there that's what i just clicked on and i want to make this a bit smaller put it in the center give it a different color i want this to have a different color i can say um then after you've selected your different color you need to move this back then when you click on this icon you see more option you can see the down icon just click on that you can notice now it's behind the camera but i think it's not looking exactly cool for us so i might have to change this image by making use of this option i don't think this look good i think this is fine but this this is looking good yeah i'm okay with this so once you're okay with it just click anywhere outside of the image you can notice where it has this um drop down like arrow this download arrow go ahead and click on it just um before this up arrow click on the down arrow and you can notice it gives you an up it says your image is prepared and now it says your image your design has been saved that means this design has been saved on our device to confirm that go to your gallery area click on your gallery to confirm if the image is there now the image is there so we are good now if you even want to add a test you can always add a test i forgot to show you guys that you can always come here let me come back click on this plus icon you can notice where it says test i can click on it and then i can choose any font format right here and i write test on them i just want to choose a font format that i will be okay with i can't see anyone exactly that i like let me choose this branch so when you click on any of them drop it down click on this option right here there should be an option to to ungroup the image you can always ungroup this image um think is this one yes it's been ungrouped now you can go ahead and delete this one i don't need it only need this one so i can come right here and erase this image and say memory yeah i think this is fine then move this right here then change the color just make sure you have the same color matching your design and if you're okay with this you can still save it again download this again so it's okay just play around with it i'm only showing you guys because um i want you guys to be very good at it and understand how it works properly so you can freely do whatever you want now we already have it on your you can notice we have two images right here so you can choose any one you feel like you're okay with now let's go back and add our to our instagram profile area 
now to add a new a new highlight just scroll right to the last area you can see where it says new click on that plus icon and now you can select any highlights that is already existing so i have different image so i'm going to select this and i'm going to um choose this and i'm going to choose um this and then i'm going to choose that and if you are okay with them just click on next and it's going to ask you to name a highlight so i can give it any name i want i can say memory lane and then you can notice where it says edit cover click on edit cover now you can notice on default the last image we chose will become our cover but that's not what we want i want this to be here I want a different cover to be there so you just have to click on this plus icon and you can notice this is our memory lane i don't think it's looking cool let me see how this look so um i want to increase this i want it to feel that age yes i think i'm okay with this it's feeling the age it makes it look kind of cool and i'm going to move it a little bit to the right yes i'm okay with this i'm going to say next so this is actually going to become my cover and if you want, you can always um, change it anytime you want. Then if you are good with that, just click on done. Now you can notice it says memory rain and then just say done. Now just go right to the first area. You can notice that's the option that says memory rain and it has this cover icon on it. So when I click on the cover, it displays that logo. And if I click next, it keeps going next. And you can notice our cover of the memory lane is still there. So pretty cool, right? Now for um for another tip guys if you have a highlight if you have a story already and you want to make it a highlight all you need to do is to click on this highlight option right here if you click on highlight it's going to say um add to highlight so you can choose on any of them to add to the highlight now you can notice i selected the second image right now if i come to this area and click on this section if i go next you can notice it becomes our highlight so apart from having a highlight you can also edit an existing highlight to have a different highlight cover all you need to do is to click on that particular highlight let me go to a different highlight click on that particular highlight click on this more option and then say edit highlight once you say edit highlight you can notice where it says cover click on edit cover and then you can go ahead and add your cover right there now this is the cover that i want to use but i want this to be a bit bigger Actually, this is not looking fine. I think the previous one is still very okay. But I just want us to see the difference. So I'm going to leave this memory rain and then I'm going to say next. So we already have our cover and I'm going to say done. So if you still want to add more, um, more highlight, you can click on add to select to add more highlight. You click on the highlight and you can always scroll right up or down to select more highlights that you want if you are okay with that click on done and then you can also change the highlight title if you want to but you can notice the difference between this and the other one this cover is looking better than the memory ring so you can always play around with your stories highlight and walk around to see what fits in or the best you want so Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash like, subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends. I would really appreciate if you like and share. So um, I'll be seeing you on my next video. Thank you for watching and stay home and stay safe. Peace.